Hello and welcome to the garden. Well, I'm hiding out in one of the greenhouses today because it is wet, windy and miserable out there. So I'm going to do a bit more sowing. I was going to say this will be my first sowing of March, but that wouldn't strictly be true because I did sow some flower seeds earlier this week. Now, I'm not going to do videos about flowers and ornamentals for one good reason, that my knowledge of them is pretty poor. And the last thing I want to do is put out videos with lots of um, bad advice in. Whoa. Great, now we've got hail, so hopefully that will be short-lived because it makes a hell of a racket on this polycarbonate roof. Well, it looks like the worst of the weather is passed overhead now, so hopefully there'll be a a brief window in which I can film something. So where was I? Yeah, no, I completely lost the plot. I don't know what I was doing. Right, so today I'm going to be sowing some broad beans, some dill and a number of different brassicas. So the first thing I'm going to do is pop some of these broad beans in some water just to soak while I'm sowing the rest of the seeds. Now I'm going to start the broad beans in these really deep cells. Um, I bought these for another purpose but I reckon the broad beans are going to be pretty happy in these so I thought I'd give them a try anyway and we'll see how they do. So I've got three varieties um, Sutton Dwarf, now I've already got a tray of those more or less ready to plant out. So I'm going to sow another batch of those to follow on. I've got Masterpiece Green Long Pod and I've got the old Crimson Flowered Broad Bean. Right, so I'm just going to look these over and make sure the seeds look sound. And I'll discard anything that doesn't. I've just got a tray of water here and, and these little seed trays so when I pop them in they should fill with water and I'll just leave them there to soak. So the first thing I'm going to sow is some dill and I'm just going to sow four medium sized pots of that. So I'm just going to broadcast a few seeds across the surface. And then just cover with a little more compost. So these pots will probably end up directly in the kitchen at some point. Um, so that I've got some that I can plant out, I will also sow in these little cells. Just 
Just make a little depression in each one of those as usual. And then I just want a couple of seed in each cell. Two or three would be fine. Right, so that should give me some pots for consumption in the kitchen fairly soon, as well as some plants to put out into the garden later on. Right, so on to the brassicas. Now I'm just going to use these um, rather flimsy inserts. I don't really like them and they are falling apart a bit, but I was given these many years ago by somebody who'd finished using them and well they've they've done okay for us but I would like to replace those with some of the the more rigid um, module trays at some point so I'm just going to fill those with compost I'm going to press that down a little bit top it up So first up is Cavolo Nero, the uh, black Tuscan kale. Now I just want a couple of seeds in each cell and I will thin those later to a single plant. Ah, you'll have to excuse me a moment. I've got a garden related delivery I can see just pulling up. Sorry for the interruption, but that was a very handy delivery of some peat free organic compost. So on with the sowing. So next I've got a Calabrese. So this is Italian as well. And this comes from, I'm not sure, somewhere in Southern Italy. This is uh, Ramoso. I, I don't know if that's a place or name of the variety or means something else, I'm not sure. Now I haven't grown that Calabrese before and I haven't grown this cauliflower before. So this is also Italian. It just says uh, cauliflower of Yesi. That I think is in Marche, so that's sort of um, eastern central Italy. So these are new varieties for me this year. And the final one is a purple sprouting broccoli. Now this variety is Rudolph and that is a really early sort so these will these these will crop probably in the autumn sometime and I'll have to sow um, quite a lot later in the year if I want some to crop um, in the winter or, or next next spring Right, I need some more water.
So I'm just mixing up some more of my sewing mix. I've got some sieved multi-purpose compost. I've got some rehydrated coir. And then I've got some vermiculite. Okay. I'm just tamping down the surface because this is a fairly light compost mix. So in this seed tray, I'm going to be sowing some tat soy. Now I think like most of the oriental greens, they're probably best sown in the autumn for um, winter salads. But some of them are okay in slightly warmer conditions. And so I thought I'd have a go with the tat soy. It's quite early to sow this, I think, so it's, it's possible that these might bolt, but we'll have to see what happens. Right, so on to the broad beans. So these are pretty deep and that's going to take quite a lot of potting mix. Right, so I've just put that in very loosely and now I can firm that down and that will be at a reasonable depth for putting the uh, broad beans in. So I'll start with the Sutton. I'm going to just put these with the, um, the scar down. one per cell. And now I'll just top these cells up. So now exactly the same process for Masterpiece. And finally, I've got the Crimson Flowered.
So that's all for this sewing. Now none of the things I've sewn today need much in the way of warmth. I will cover the uh, broad beans though. That's not to protect them from the cold, but from the furry little fellows that would otherwise quite like to eat them. But that's all for this video, so thanks very much for watching and bye for now.